still rolling, and some of this might be useful, Randy, if you look at it later. Um, uh, so there, is, there are some who will tell you that God started everything in a perfect way, and then Adam messed it all up, and then God had to regroup. Oh, now what do I do? Oh, I guess I'll change this and this. As if God had plan A and then plan B. And that's completely nonsense. First of all, God in his, in his omniscience would know what was coming. But more than knowing it, it's clear God is purposely leading the world there, and he's embedded into the design of it even before man shows up. All the elements that will later become metaphors for him to teach on very basic spiritual principles of life and death and salvation and judgment and uh, other aspects of, uh, of the creation. That is, for example, that time is counting down, that we're getting near the end, that there's going to be a judgment. A lot of things that are embedded in this world that are not in the next tell us very plainly that God's intent was to create a world that would fall, and that in that fall, God could go through then a process of redeeming it. That's why Paul can say in Ephesians 1 that we were chosen, predestined before the foundations of the earth. That tells you that God, remember Jesus is the creator, even before he set about creating the world, he did it knowing he would have to die in it. So think about what the magnitude of that, that it wasn't like he just woke up one day and the father said, Adam messed it up, I got some news for you, son, you're going to have to go down there and fix it. No, Christ himself made it, knowing he would have to die in it. That tells you even more about his love, that he would go through that plan from the beginning, knowing where it was leading 